Uh, hi everyone, let's talk about Vale Smith. Vale Smith is an electronic music artist. He is also a content creator on the YouTube platform. He has been making this music for uh, several years now up until this point. The earliest I've seen his work was in 2018, so he's a relatively new artist. Much of his sound is really housed in the wonky trap EDM style of music. Now in the content creator angle of his work, he goes by the name of Buffalo Staple on YouTube. I'll leave a link to his channel down below. He might comment on this video. Look out for his comment. He released an album in 2019 titled Origami, one that I like, but I have my reservations with it. I just kind of felt like he was dipping his toes into this sound instead of fully diving in. And now on this new album, he has taken that jump. This album is 14 tracks, 41 minutes, and it actually runs surprisingly quick. Most of these songs range from the two to three minute track. You get a single four minute cut and a one minute cut as well. All in all, these songs aren't relatively long. They take their time, but also they feel fully fleshed out. One thing I will say about this record to start this review off is that this album is really serene. This album has a very serene feel to it. But on the other angle, it kind of feels a little hectic, a little chaotic. Even Vale Smith himself said that this album was going to have a manic, ever-changing sound. And I think that's one thing he really, truly accomplished on this album. A lot of the songs, again, are frantic, they're manic, they're ever-changing, but they also feel like looking through a kaleidoscope. All of the colors and everything is kind of refracting and reflecting off of these mirrors, but the end result is still very beautiful. Now, sound-wise on these songs, again, very serene. You have a lot of these beautiful, of the Asian melodies, a lot of these strings, maybe some woodwinds here and there. He also incorporates a lot of samples into these songs. Maybe they're vocal samples, maybe they're actually samples from other songs. I'm not too entirely sure, but whatever it is, it works on a lot of these tracks. For example, the song Core Tune, where you get this chopped up vocal sample that's going along with this snare pattern. It's actually matching up with the snare or maybe vice versa. I really don't know. It's a very creative approach. And is that a harp on this track? I don't know. What I really like about this is that even after listening to this album like five times, there are things I still cannot decipher about this thing. Like how Vale Smith managed to actually pull together some really chaotic sounds, but make it so that it's not really, I guess, lost. Rather, I'm saying there are enough melodies under these songs so that there is a replay value to these tracks and not just this frantic, mindless, chaoticness to a song. This album kind of reminds me of like a Flying Lotus album in some way. However, I feel like a Flying Lotus album, I feel like they appeal to his albums are frantic, while this album has some really amazing and gorgeous melodies behind them. Also the drum beats and the drum patterns and the percussion on this album is also really good too. The song Red Urchin Tempest has this amazing drum pattern with these rolling snares, these kind of frantic kicks. You also get some quainter moments on this album in the percussion department like on the track Cassia Topaz. However, the sample on this track is just as frantic as some of the percussion on other tracks are. The song Mosquitoes was a track that was released as a single and initially on first listen the singles didn't really grip me all that much but in the context of this record they really stand out amongst the rest. I really like the nature sounds that are incorporated onto this album like on this track in particular or the final song on this album. But jumping back to Mosquitoes real quick, this song's ending is is just... Ah. It's beautiful. I'm almost like out of words to describe how beautiful of an ending this song is. It feels like it's constantly ascending. It's these bright synths that are accompanied with these somewhat frantic drum patterns that just, oh God, I don't know how it's to describe them other than majestic, gorgeous, beautiful, really a highlight on this album. No doubt. There are some moments on this album where I feel like I'm more invested in the sample that's going on underneath the track. For example, the track Daffodil Wisdom, or the track Panorama as well. Also, the track Convalesking is a song that I just feel like isn't fully realized. But there are moments on this album that, at their worst, still sound incredibly pleasant to the ears, very pretty, very nice, shimmering, sheen, pretty, 
gorgeous. Overall, this album, while not being the most, I guess, forward-thinking or freshest kind of sound, it still is a very creative electronic album. In the future, I would like to see more of like a cohesive album experience. I know this was trying to be a manic, ever-changing album, but I would like to see where his headspace is at for an album that's pretty consistent. But for what it is, these beautiful and amazing synths, as well as these strings and maybe some woodwinds, as well as some very intricate drum patterns, all come together for a kaleidoscopic album. I'm really enjoying this album. Very creative output from Vale Smith himself. Personally for me, it is the strongest of B pluses. I wouldn't be surprised if this grew on me at the end of the year, but still, I am curious to know what are your thoughts and opinions on this album down below. Let me know what albums you want me to review next, and that is it. Leave a like, comment, share, do whatever you want. Let me know how I can improve future videos down below. Remember, this is only my opinion, because music is subjective.